I am really loving these one pot meals lately. I hate, hate doing dishes, although I love cooking, so this is perfect. So today I'm making a one pot chicken shawarma and rice. It comes together so easily. It's full of flavors and the entire family will love it. And my favorite part is that white sauce that you put on top, so good. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's get to it. I've got two cups of basmati rice that I've washed and I'm gonna soak for 20 minutes while I prep the ingredients. I'm using chicken thighs and cleaning them a bit, though I'm not removing all the fat because that's amazing flavor. Slice the thighs into strips and then I'm going to place them in a large bowl. Add in some olive oil and for the seasonings, we've got smoked paprika, cumin, coriander, cinnamon, garlic powder, onion powder, turmeric, salt, and pepper. I literally have PTSD from the last time. Add in your fresh lemon juice, combine, and then you'll place it in the fridge while you prep the rest of your ingredients. My recipe originally called for half of a white onion, but someone beat me to it, so I'm going with red. I love that my family loves to cook, but the downside is that sometimes the ingredients I need go missing. Go ahead and dice your onions, and then I'm also finely grating two garlic cloves. Heat some olive oil in a large pan on medium high heat. Once the oil is fully heated, about two to three minutes, you'll add in the chicken. You wanna make sure the oil is nice and hot because you want to develop a really nice color and leave the chicken undisturbed for about three to four minutes or until it develops a nice golden color. You wanna make sure to get a nice little char on it. Stir and cook for another three to four minutes to get some nice color all around. You'll turn the heat to medium and then you're gonna add in your onions and garlic and saute that for another two to three minutes or until it's nice and aromatic and the onions are translucent. You'll drain the rice and add it to the pan and mix it in and let it absorb all those flavors and toast a bit, about another two minutes. To help it cook faster, I'm adding in hot chicken broth and you're gonna bring that to a boil uncovered until most of the liquid is fully absorbed. This should take roughly about six to seven minutes. Once most of the liquid has been absorbed, you'll place a kitchen cloth and the lid and cook on medium low for another 12 to 15 minutes undisturbed. While that's cooking, let's make our white sauce with Greek yogurt, mayo, lemon juice, fresh garlic, salt, pepper, onion powder, turmeric, and sumac. The sumac is optional, but it really adds a great taste. And our rice is done. It's nice and fluffy, and the smell is incredible. You're gonna top it with some fresh parsley, and now let's plate. Start with a big serving of the rice and chicken, and I made a quick salad with some diced tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, olive oil, lemon, parsley, mint, and sumac, which you can find in the recipe. I also like to add in some warm pita, and of course, you gotta top it with that white sauce. All right, let's try this. A little rice, chicken. Mm. I'm obsessed with that white sauce. It's delicious. When I lived in New York, we would go to the Halal Guys cart and the sauce was always my favorite part. I hope you guys enjoy it. 